assalamu alaikum a very good morning dear all i hope you all are fine and you have enjoyed your vacation today we are going to discuss our new topic which is related to vocabulary in spelling and is silent vowels so i request you all please take out your books o i e textbook and open the page number 17 then i'll tell you the learning objective you will identify silent vowels in polysyllabic words let's get started our lesson what are silent vowels or silent letters you can say the letters which uh, or in a word that are not pronounced or cannot be matched to any specific sound made by a word called silent letters in any word so what are silent word or letters silent letters are those letters which are not pronounced in words they have no sound they have no pronunciation but we have to write in uh, we have to be very careful while writing that word because while pronouncing while uttering the word we we will not pronounce that letter but when we are writing the word we have to write that silent letter in our spelling because spelling will be wrong if we do not write that silent letter in any specific word like you can see in examples we will find out some examples of silent letters <coughs> there was a knock at the door did you find any uh, word which having a silent letter yes knock in first example k the letter k is silent and we do not pronounce that letter we do not pronounce that letter here the k the pronunciation of k but we the letter is silent here he often cooks food by himself in second example he often cooks food by himself <coughs> here which letter is silent yes t <coughs> in word uh, the often the t is silent the letter t is silent in this word now third example i am writing a letter to my parents so which letter is silent in the example writing w is not pronouncing here we are not giving any pronunciation of w v sound but here the letter w and the sound of w w is silent here now this is the wrong way to talk with your elder <clears throat> in example number 4 which one is the silent letter again is an example of w is the sound of w is silent here wrong we do not pronounce the letter w here and we also didn't pronounce i didn't pronounce w in the third example and uh, didn't pronounce the t letter in second example and in the first example i didn't pronounce the k letter why we do not pronounce that letter so we always keep that letter silent in the language because they <coughs> native people make the language because this is their language and they uh, just speak in this way so we have to be uh, we have to keep be be careful while pronouncing or speaking that words according to their rules words like language and interesting interested have silent vowels <clears throat> vowels which are not pronounced we spell the word like this interested in case you can see in the example but we say the word like this interested so in both thing you can see 
इंटरेस्टिंग द स्पेलिंग इज आई एन टी ई आर ई एस टी ई डी दे हैव बिन डिवाइडेड दैट वर्ड इन सेलेबल्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सेलेबल्स ओके सो बट हेयर ई इज साइलेंट द रेड ई दे हैव मार्क द लेटर ई विच इज वोल हेयर बिकम साइलेंट I hope you have understood the concept of silent. Let's have a look on some rules for silent vowels or silent letters. Silent e. The rule number one is if the letter e comes at the ends of words, it is generally not pronounced. It is generally not pronounced. <coughs> if it comes at the end of the words uh, if the letter e comes at the end of the words it generally not pronounced like in the four table before write give high rule if e ca- e comes before the letter d in the second and third form of the verbs e may sometimes not be pronounced sometimes not be pronounced like in you can see in example Bored, fixed, smuggled, bagged. <clears throat> Another rule for letter U, which is also the vowel. Uh, the letter U is not pronounced when it comes after G. The letter U is not pronounced when it comes after G and before a vowel in a word, like guide, guest, god. Yes. <clears throat> so here U is not pronounced when it comes after G and before a vowel in a word. Before a vowel in a word. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> you have to open your book page number seventeen as I have told you earlier. You have to open the page number seventeen. You will write the date, class, work, and day on the top of the page, and then you will start doing the part A. You will just insert the silent e in the words below. The example one, which have been given a blank here, vegetable, but you will write that silent e in the given blanks. In second example, temperature T E M P dash R A T U R E. Yes, you will write silent E over here. C uh, third example, desperate D E S P E R A T E. Fourth example, literature L I T. E R A T U R E. <clears throat> the last example is camera. C A M E R A. Now move on to the next part of the page seventeen, part B. Find the silent or almost silent, almost silent letters in the words below. One is you will just. Underline that silent letters in the given examples. First one is R. H is silent here. Talk. L is silent here. Should. L again silent here. Often. T is silent here. Right. W is silent here. Wrong. Again, W W sound is not pronounced here. I hope you have understood the concept of silent words. I have given some more examples, and they have highlighted with red color. The silent letters have been highlighted with red color, like. You can see in the example silent D. We do not we do not pronounce the 
letter D Wednesday Anson handkerchief badge wedge and silent G sign resign design foreign and in silent U guitar God building guilty rough words biscuit tongue in silent H what when why which weather post honest our while white wear rhythm <clears throat> so there are many examples where the letters are being silent so i hope you have understood the it's very clear to you now this is the time for your homework i hope you have done the class work on the book on page number 17 i hope you have done the work because it's it was very easy task now you will open your uh, you will do this homework on your language notebook you will this do this work on your language notebook okay you will do this work on your language notebook Yes, the question is, you will write this question. This is your question. Choose four words from A and B. Which A and B? <clears throat> Again, the same page number 17, which you have done in the class, the part A and B of page number 17. You will find out that you find difficult in both parts, any four. And then you will choose each one in a sentence. First, you will choose any four words, silent words from part A and B. So, it's good if you choose two from part A and two from part B. And then you will use them in your own sentences. After this, you will highlight the silent letter in each case to help you remember them. After writing the silent words, you will highlight that silent specific means that silent letter in so first you will find uh, choose not to find you will choose to four words and then you will write the sentences of chosen words and then you will highlight the silent letters so it's your home task it's your homework you will do on your language notebook so this is all from my side. I hope you have understood that lesson very well. And you will do your work very nicely. See you. Till then. Allah Hafiz.